My name is Jane Howarth. I'm founder and CEO of the British Hen Welfare Trust. I had no idea when I started that it would be as popular as it is. Back in 2005, he just turned up at this farm. He said to me, yeah, you can have some chickens. But when he started bringing them out and I saw the condition of them, I just lost count. <laughs> I just said, I'll take as many as I can get in the back of my mini metro. That was my first flock. And now we've homed nearly 670,000 hens that we've helped onto a better life. It's about raising awareness and it's about changing hearts and minds. There's 36 million in this country and half of those are behind bars. We change their life. It's a life outside. They get to look at the sky. They get to feel grass under their feet. It's such a joy to see a new flock of hens that have never seen the sunshine before spread their wings and just soak up the sunshine and the warmth. To have got into the last three, oh, it's just awesome in the true sense of the word. And thank you to our supporters because they've put us here. If people here haven't got chickens, then they don't know what they're missing out on. It's, you know, yeah, should, everybody should have chickens. My name's Alan Knight. I'm Chief Executive and Founder of International Animal Rescue. Our major project is uh, orangutans in Borneo. Uh, we basically have a, uh, an active rescue centre, you know, rescuing animals, bringing them in, mainly babies, rehabilitating them and then taking them out and releasing them in the wild. We have over 300 staff working to protect orangutans, slow lorises and macaques out in Indonesia and our claim to fame has been the rescue of all the dancing bears in India. Uh, but we did manage to rescue all of those bears and we've now got them in uh, three main sanctuaries in India and we continue to look after them for the rest of their lives. So to be nominated as Charity of the Year is uh, really special for all of us. It gives the team a real heavy pat on the back and also for the people that are working in the field. All these people work every day very, very hard. So to be recognised by such a an amazing organisation like Just Giving is, uh, is truly amazing and it's something that we're really, really proud of. I'm Rachel Stevenson, CEO and co-founder of Reverse Rhett. Rhett syndrome is a devastating neurological condition that affects every area of a child's life. Between the ages of one and two, the children lose the ability to speak, to walk, to use their hands, to play, and they're left with complex medical problems for life. In 2007, some really good experiments happened where Rhett syndrome was demonstrated to be reversible in the lab. We just wanted to do whatever we could to get behind the science because when you have a child with a condition like this, one million isn't enough, two million isn't enough. It'll never be enough until we have a cure. We're very grateful to be nominated. Any attention that's brought to Rett syndrome and the potential for treatment is really helpful to us because there are people who have children with Rett who are waiting for treatment. And there are children and adults living with Rett syndrome now who will die before treatment becomes available. One of those is my daughter, and I have a stepdaughter as well with Rett syndrome. Nothing can happen fast enough. N no award is big enough. What we want is a cure for Rett syndrome, and for all of these people living with Rett syndrome today to live as free a life as possible.